Hi friends, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping in. So today we are going to make these really fun and easy night lights. And these are just some fun holiday night lights using our Cricut and Dollar Tree LED night lights. And of course you could put anything that you want on them. And these are so cute. They turn out really adorable. So this is gonna be our project for today. Also, if you bought the Dollar Tree iridescent, let me see if you can see it, this Dollar Tree iridescent vinyl. Well, I found it's really sort of challenging to cut. So we did go through some different settings to find a good setting to cut it on. So if you're having a hard time finding a setting for this um, particular vinyl, just stay tuned and I'll show you a good setting for it also. So yeah, these turned out really, really fun and just a nice little addition for the holidays. So I have my image that I'm going to use and I took this from the Cricut Access. It is the winter woodblock decor if you're looking for it and it just says the magic of winter and I did customize because I want to you know change up the size and I'm going to of course use it for what I want. Now I have my LED lights that you saw we picked up from the Dollar Tree and I love these. Now if I wanted to I could also like put a little snowflake on here too. I'm not going to uh, but I did you know think about it and I could do that if I wanted to but I'm not going to right now. So I'm going to open these Right, so after I open these, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it so that I know how big that I want it. So it's a little over two and a half by a little over two and a half. So about two and a half by two and a half is the most that I have to play with. And then the other thing is I want to clean these with alcohol. And it's always a good idea to clean anything that you're going to be putting vinyl on with alcohol. Get off any fingerprints, anything like that. It will allow it to adhere better. Okay. Now this is going to be three colors. So I'm using this blue here. I'm using this kind of grayish color. And then I'm using this silver iridescent color. This one here is from Dollar Tree. All right, so now I just want to, and um, I haven't been on Cricut in a few days, so you see they have changed the layout of everything. It definitely looks different, and I have noticed there's a little bit of differences also in some of the stuff that you can do, which is interesting. So I'll have to, you know, I notice you can like sort of turn some stuff differently and things like that. So we're going to go to edit. So like this horizontal and vertical. So like I noticed if you hit horizontal, so you can turn it without um, having to wait and go to the mirror. So that's interesting. So there's, there's that. So, all right, so I'm gonna put it back. Now, I just want to fix our size. So I'm gonna make this 2.25. So that makes the height only 1.66. How would it look? I'm gonna unlock it and just see how it would look if I, if I made the height 
to look crazy. All right, I'm good with that. Okay. Log it back. All right, so now I'm going to go to actions and I'm going to duplicate it because I'm making two. All right, so we'll we will make it. it they moved my make it bucket button on me, so So this is the first time I've cut this holographic vinyl from Dollar Tree. So I just want you guys to see. I put it on a regular vinyl setting. And it's so thin. You can see it just kind of cut it all out like badly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm just going to put it on a lighter setting so just so you know if you get this and I knew it felt pretty thin so I was actually sort of concerned so I'm going to try it on a different setting and we'll see we'll see how it works all right so that did not work either I'm going to try I'm actually going to try the rice paper setting it might not cut it all the way through. I mean, it, sh it might be okay. It cuts their sticker paper well. And this is just, like, this is, it's just so thin. Yeah, I'm going to try the rice paper. I didn't realize, I hadn't used this before, so I didn't realize how thin this paper was. So let's try this. Let's, I'm going to go, let's see. I'm going to go back and we'll do it again. All right, so this cut pretty nicely on the rice paper setting. So if you bought this really pretty opal kind of color... Um, this translucent color from the Dollar Tree in their rolls of vinyl, and you're having a hard time getting it to cut because it's so thin. If you go to All Materials, go under Paper, and then go to the Rice Paper setting, and that's where it cut really nice. Now, I am going to weed this while the rest of it is cutting, and I'll show you how it looks after. All right, so now got everything printed, so we'll put it together. This is one of those papers, I don't know why the backing just always loves to stick to it. There's some paper that is just like that, and I don't know why, but it drives me crazy.
this on here. And then these are the ones that were, if you remember, they were ones we did with rice paper and they weeded out really, really well. So the rice, the rice paper setting was really good with them. completed night lights super cute so these are just really easy and fun you can put anything that you want on them and super inexpensive but just a nice little addition to holiday decor these are nice you can you know put in a little gift basket for someone if you're you know making little household gift baskets or something this is nice so all right, well, listen, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, friends, and I'll see you later. Bye.